Thursday night football this evening. And if you thought the crowds wouldn't show up because it's a school night, well, you know nothing about the Whitney Wildcats. To Rockland we go, the Wildcats hosting the Wood Creek Timberwolves. And if this student section doesn't get you fired up, I'm not sure what will. These kids ain't worried about it being a school night. They actually already did their homework. All right, we'll pick this up at the first quarter. Wood Creek ball, Austin Catapotis rolls out. Look at the catch right here by Owen Blevins. Get up, young fella. That drive will lead to a field goal for the Timberwolves. To the second quarter, less than a minute left in the half. Whitney in the red zone. Trevor Hart just back to pass. He hits Victorian Brownlaw in the end zone for six. Brownlaw filling it. The Wildcats go on to score 21 unanswered to close this one out. Whitney gets the W. They move to 2-0 on this season. And over in Lumen, another spirited school student section there. Fluorescent colors, too. The Del Oro Golden Eagles hosting the Del Campo Cougars. We'll pick this one up in the first quarter. Del Oro ball. This is all you need to see right here. That's Tainoa Asia who takes the handoff. And this is what I call making the other team eat your dust. 55 yards to La Casa. And it was that kind of night for the Golden Eagles. They smash Del Campo 34-7. Del Oro moves to 2-0 on the season. And while we're talking high school football, it's time to introduce you to our ABC 10 Pape Machinery Game of the Week. And this week, boy, are we in for a treat as the Woodland Wolves battle the Colfax Falcons. Last year was, you know, they took us out of the playoffs. That was rough, you know, crying in the locker rooms, you know, got to get back, got to get them back. The story pretty much writes itself for this upcoming battle. Woodland ended Colfax's season in the playoffs last year, so to say that Colfax will be playing with a chip on their shoulders may be an understatement. I think we're all excited to go, come back, just put it to them, roll them. We haven't beat them about three times, and it would just be exciting. It would be a big push to our season. Why should Woodland fear Colfax? It's hard to beat a team three times. They don't know what they're looking at. And best believe, Woodland is prepared for all the smoke Colfax will bring. Colfax is going to come hard. They're going to hit hard. They're going to come. They're going to want it back. We beat them twice last year, once in regular season, once in the playoffs. Uh, we're prepared. We're prepared. Uh, I think every player knows that our coaches are here to make us better. We know they, they always come ready to play. So we're ready for that challenge. Um, and, you know, obviously we, we beat them the past three times. And I'm pretty sure if I'm Colfax, I'm, I'm looking in that streak. Despite the history between both teams, they do share a lot of respect for one another. We love playing them, they love playing us. It's always a good game, and so we're trying to show up and take this one. Who's going to win on Friday? Colfax, baby, let's go. Huh. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. This game kicks off 7.30 tomorrow night. Remember, tune in here tomorrow night at 11 to see highlights from this game and other games in our area, and we are right back after this.